This is Michelle and I. This is the astrological update for the whole of April and the general vibe that's in the air. Well, this month has been scaring the bejeebas out of a lot of astrologers who say they've never really seen anything like it. And that's because there is a double Cardinal Grand Cross, as if all those single ones haven't been enough to contend with over recent months. Well, I want to speak in more general terms about this month because I think it's very, very important for the evolution of ourselves and the planet in general. It's very, very powerful. And all of us have been suffering, for want of a better word, from the intensity of the Cardinal Grand Crosses that have gone before. Now, the general energy, I believe, of a Cardinal Grand Cross is to bring out what's out of balance in our lives and bring out the things in, in ourselves actually that we're frightened to face and the things that we don't really want to see and we may have been avoiding so all of our souls recently have been shaken up and things have come up that we cannot avoid any longer and we have to act possibly this has been very uncomfortable this has caused perhaps a bit of chaos in your life and to bring it all to a head this double cardinal grand cross is just like a upgraded version of that but we have all been trained to look at certain things, so we should be better at being able to deal with whatever intensity comes up. And the key really is to take responsibility for our own life, change ourselves, change our patterns, look within rather than looking without and blaming other people. You know, we are the masters and captains of our own ship. And if something is chaotic in your life, know that you're a magician and you can swerve the energy and handle whatever comes up in different ways and understand that it's important to have faith in your life journey and your soul journey. Also, we should see mimics in the universe, great revelations coming up. Perhaps there will be societies or es establishments that crumble or secrets come to the surface. There will be a lot of tension, a lot of revelation, a lot of unease going on as the energy is shifting around everybody in a position of power, including our own individual selves and the power of our own life. Now, I'm just going to read this because it's very important that this particular double cardinal grand cross is Sun in Aries and Mercury Uranus conjunct in Aries, square Jupiter in Cancer, square Mars in Libra, square Pluto in Capricorn, square Sun in Aries and Mercury Uranus conjunct in Aries. Now, as we know, and as I certainly know, being an Aries, Aries is like, rah, very impulsive energy. Things could happen suddenly, sudden, even earthquakes or even something physical that happens in the world that's very, very sudden. There may be bursts of anger, bursts of spontaneity that happen externally in the world. The good news is there is a four planet stellium in Pisces and Neptune, <clears throat> excuse me, has been trying to teach us a very important message since it's gone into Pisces some time ago and it's saying to us there is a deeper purpose there is a softer purpose and I believe that all this Piscean en energy and the stellium that's going to be in Pisces is guiding us through it's giving us inner navigation it's awakening our psychic antenna to how we need to handle any chaotic disturbances and the key really is love to love yourself to love other people to be gentle with yourself there may be the temptation to go crazy and, and to lose oneself in a Neptunian dream, be that love, be that alcohol, be that drugs, be that anything that you're addicted to. So that's another one to avoid. Now, if we move on past that double cardinal grand cross, we have a full moon in Libra and a total li uh, lunar eclipse. So that full moon in particular is about balance, is about finding balance. Fortunately, Mars is going direct after that, I mean, before that. So we're able to feel much stronger in ourselves, and our energy is going forward. But this eclipse in Libra might find you feeling, thanks to all this chaotic energy, that you're slightly flipped. Remember what balance is. Remember what balance is in your heart. Remember that true balance is loving yourself and having that sense of innate fairness for yourself as well as other people. This month is going to be a journey. In fact, I'm not even going to mention what else is going on astrologically this month because I believe that the things I've just discussed are fundamentally key and important. You know, we all have the ability this month to see radical changes. And even if it's chaotic, ride, ride that wild pony and understand that if you come from a place of love, 
all will be well. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.